Pictures and images surround us are used in many forms of media and have a high information density and memorability. For this reason, researchers have long attempted to use images to build graphical passwords that are easier to use and memorize than standard alphanumerical passwords. One key problem with these systems is that they are weak against attacks based on observation of input and password guessing. For example, in a system where a user enters a password with an image supplied by a terminal, an imposter who knows the password and the image could easily impersonate the user. Addressing this problem, Feature Pin requires the users to bring their own physical images to the terminal, so that even if an imposter observes a password, he will still have no access to the image source, and so he will be unable to enter the password. In other words, Feature Pin decouples the authentication process from the image used for authenticating. This is done by using a camera streaming live video and asking to users to select password items in the form of portions of the image that they see in the video stream. Practically, users bring an image, for example stored as a picture on a mobile device, place this on a camera terminal and then seize their image on the terminal screen. They then select the points of the image that compose their pin by selecting portions of the image. This is achieved by tapping or dragging a selection area on the screen. The selection is stored on the system as a set of optical features computed with the SIFT image processing algorithm. When the user then finally types his password, if the selected points match the stored ones, the system grants authentication. The system is robust against variations in position and rotation of the image. Moreover, any type of image or media can be used as the image source. For example, pictures on a phone, an identification card, a real photograph, or even time-varying media such as a series of different still images or a video. Check out the paper for full details about the implementation and usability studies.